This is a demo of Kofax Read Soft Online and Ombase by Highlight. Kofax Read Soft Online is a software we're using to capture all our documents. We can capture those by scanning, email, fax, and other normal capture methods that we use today. Along the left-hand side, you'll notice I have a couple options. Upload, Verify, Rejected, On Hold, In Progress, Processed, and All Documents. I am currently in the Verify queue. I am going to verify a document that came in through Kofax ReadSoft Online. You'll notice right on the main screen, I do have a little bit of information about this document, such as date and time it was received, or the file name, status, and a couple other fields. So let's select the last one on our list. The document will then open up for us so we can view it. We have an image of the document on the left-hand side. We have all our keyword values on the right-hand side, and then we have our line information on the bottom. Kofax Read Software is not only importing our documents for us, but it is also capturing the information off the document. We want to make sure all this information is correct, so you'll notice that there are warning signs on any of the fields that it was not able to capture or any of the fields that it may not know 100% if it was correct. So all our buyer and supplier information was captured correctly because we see the green check marks. Now we have to review the general information. So the first one we're coming to is our invoice number. It looks like on the document there is no logic where it would be easy to tell what the invoice number is. So we're going to go ahead and say that there is no invoice number on this document and hit tap. It then captured the invoice date. So you'll see the date of 3-13-2019, and you'll see on the actual document itself a box where it's capturing that date. So that's correct. We can hit tab again. And now our PO number, which is PO-12345. I am going to remove the PO dash and just use all numbers. And then hit tab. The next fields it wants to verify are our net amount, tax amount, a delivery cost, and a total amount. Our total amount is the 178.20. Our net amount is the 162. The tax amount is 1620 and again I'm just grabbing all this information from these fields over here and there is no delivery cost. Now that I've entered in all the information you'll notice there are all green check marks along the right hand side. Now we want to move along to the bottom. So we have our different line items here. Just for purposes of this demo, I'm just going to use the filter feature and select items that are already available for us. Once we have verified, we have all our line numbers, our article numbers, and our descriptions, quantities, unit price, and the amounts. We can go ahead and hit OK. You will now see that that invoice is no longer in this queue. At this point, you can either use the Read Software Connect or our Yoga Connect to send this information over to your, your, EM, your ECM system. In this case, we would be sending it to Onbase. So we are going to go ahead and log into Onbase now. We can go to our workflow queues.
this document, just because I set up this workflow, I know will go to our invoice exception queue. You can sort through all your invoices by scrolling through them, filtering by entry date. You can enter in filter information if you happen to know a date that you're particularly looking for. And then you would select that invoice. So now you will see that this invoice is in our OnBase system. It looks the exact same as it did in our COFAX. And this invoice is ready for approval. So I'm going to go ahead and hit our Submit for Approval task. And now this invoice will show up in your ERP system. You can, of course, set this up any way you want. You can have multiple queues. You can have it go to different people. Um, this was just one example of how the system could work for you. Thank you.